let's start. Okay, um, for as per tracking our earlier um, recommendation based on technical reading for uh, Food Street Asia 14, um, the decline was kept uh, within our support level. Um, as you can tell that the recent decline was pretty much come in within the 38.2 Fibonacci level and the 20-day moving average. So as the index really new sort of the, what we call a baseline, We end the new high level structure. We think um, fresh buying interest has uh, start to build up, particularly when you see the fresh uptick in RSI um, and the piercing pattern as per last uh, Friday gain. So we think there's decent chance for the the uh, FTSE 40 index to continue to trade higher, re-challenging our upper resistance level and of course the critical resistance within the 200 day moving average, as we put our index resistance at 10,155. The next technical resistance will be at, at 10,400 while support remain the same at 9,770 and 9,600. Uh, and then moving into Malaysia, we highlight uh, Malaysia and the Malaysia uh, as per <coughs> On the 6th November, the upcycle has indeed unfolded further. Uh, as per 6 September, uh, 6 November over here, we see a new high high structure was formed. Despite the decline, initial decline for the past two occasions, it was pretty much kept within the 200 day move average, keeping the long term uptrend is still pretty much intact. Last Friday again, I think uh, last Thursday, uh, reversal move in shape of the engulfing. Uh, validated by last Friday gain as yeah, signal continuation of the ongoing uptrend. Overall momentum remain positive. We expect year end rally to continue with the next technical target is actually pegged at 1483.5 and 1, the psychological level of 1500 while the support remain the same at 1440 and 1430. For small cap index uh, based on our earlier expectation, the The small cap index has indeed continued to trade higher actually hitting our target at 16440. Okay. However, it did not go up further. Um, we see seeing a, uh, a slight pullback move, but the downside was pretty much kept within the 50-day moving average. Last Thursday, again, has seen this, the index form a uh, hammer pattern. As for now, we think there's a decent chance for the uh, rebound to continue, which actually could pass away a continuation of the previous uptrend move. So, we expect the index to re-challenge our assistance at 16,440 and 17,000 uh, level uh, afterward. For uh, Indonesia, the <clears throat> JCI index continue to, uh, to trade higher and I think right now he's start to uh, bring out some sort of wave three of the bigger wave three. So that means we are pretty much on the bullish track. The new higher structure was formed and expected to trade higher with the next target is actually at 7165, 7200 uh, point for JCI index. Meanwhile, for IDX sector financial uh, index, we seen the stock has forming uh, inverted head and shoulder pattern and right now is right for the what we call that an upper breakout move so a breakout above this particular level at 1442 could power more way for the further upside at the 1510 point the fisa index as per earlier uh, recommendation we expecting a rebound and rebound could be kept within the current downtrend channel as for now the index has formed a new high level structure and we think Uh, given the improvement of the overall sentiment globally within this recent channel for the current index to challenge the major resistance which is actually pegged at 6,400 and the next resistance at 6,675. So we think uh, a breakout above this level could actually kickstart a major new up cycle for the PC index. Meanwhile, for PC index, uh, Philippine uh, industrial uh, sector index downtrend channel is actually about to end as the index has testing this uh, so-called critical resistance right within the 100-day moving average last week. And despite the decline, we think the new up cycle has been in place. We see a new series of high-level structure. Uh, RS side, uh, we call that really has turned much more positive. And uh, we're expecting uh, another test uh, within the immediate resistance at 8, 9, 4, 5. And the next target is actually at 9,220. For um, for, uh, sorry, STI index, um, earlier we expecting a so-called a breakout move within the so-called uh, following channel. It did not actually materialize. The upside was kept within the 100-day move average as the index continued to retain their following wish kind of pattern. 
However, the decline was pretty much kept within our support. It did not take out our support. In fact, they create a new high low structure. If you look on the momentum, is hardly, I would say, strong in terms of the selling pressure. So we think overall selling pressure has started to normalize and we expecting the index to continue retesting the falling wish uh, pattern neckline again uh, and could break out and kick start a new up cycle in near term. So we put our technical target at 3,200 and 3,330. Meanwhile, for IHS re-index, uh, the rebound was uh, much more stronger and right now the current short-term uh, plan could actually uh, turn into what could a stronger medium-term uh, uptrend move. So we see a new high-low structure was formed with the 50 day moving average. Momentum remain on the upside. There's decent chance for the index to trade higher, seeking the next target at 1080 and 1120. For SAT index, the rebound that we expected earlier was kept within uh, immediate resistance at 1430. However, if you look at despite the decline that come through for the past few weeks, um, the structure or the pattern of the triple bottom or variation of the rectangle pattern is actually uh, remain intact. So because of that, we think the SET index is actually building some sort of stronger baseline for the future uh, rebound move. So um, solid uh, okay, right, oh, uh, emergence of the buying interest within the support level could actually keep the stock uh, index trading higher. We think there's a decent chance for the index to reach any in the upper resistance at 1430 and 1461. While for my index, uh, is continue to be some sort of base within the immediate support. It did not break our support and right now uh, could actually stage a stronger rebound soon. Next resistance is 440 and 467. For Vietnam index, lastly, um, Vietnam index has built some sort of the consolidation for the past four weeks and looking to kickstart a new up cycle after forming a new high low structure. And we think breakout is going to happen soon. Momentum is actually improving. MACD also turned for positive. The next technical resistance is actually at 1,100 and 1,150. Last but not least, has an index also similar pattern with uh, VN index just now. A side way to end it soon. Uh, we are looking for a potential breakout with the next technical resistance back at 239 and 252. <music> Do 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 do